darlings, and welcome to day three of your virtual road trip. Now, we are about to do a tour of this chateau. I stayed here overnight. It was amazing. I, to watch the sunset go down here, to um, sleep with these windows open. I was up there in the corner, a whole apartment to myself. Um, the, to hear the doves in the morning, and the breakfast here was amazing, and the most <laughs> exquisite room, huge fireplace, everything's so authentic, and it was just the most amazing experience. And I can't wait for you to meet the owners and tour the property with me. Bisous. Okay, bienvenue au Chateau Leval. I am Uwe. Uh -huh. My name is Irene, and we are here at this beautiful place since uh, January. January is when you moved in. Actually, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Wow. We bought the place and we, when we moved in, but then there was a lot of work to do. And unfortunately, with COVID, um, yeah, we, we were not able to, to uh, uh, have any guests at that time. Yeah. But then starting in May, you were able to start having guests, right? Yeah. And yeah. then that was very exciting for us because we started out with three rooms. Now we have five rooms. Since you have July, five rooms. July, it's rooms and apartments. Right, so a combination. So how many apartments do you have? We have actually like two big ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. One sleeps eight, the other one six, and then a tiny, a little one that is for four people. For four people. So mm -hmm. eight, six, I mean, you can have whole families here if you wanted to. Definitely. Maybe definitely. even a wedding, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what we are looking into, but we are not... We will, work, we will be working on that. Yeah. yeah. We are happy to... to uh, have families and, and of course uh, pets. Yeah, animals. it's pet I mean, friendly. I love that. The girls have had so much fun here. Thank yeah, you. Uh, maybe with the uh, with a dove coat here. Yes. From the 16th century. Yeah, it's a very interesting building. And uh, it had place uh, space for more than 1,400 pigeons. Pigeons, and yeah, actually the biggest in the area. 1,400. Yeah, yeah, a customer said, or a guest said, it's the that was the internet of former times. Now, for those <laughs> of, for those watching that are not familiar with what the purpose of a dovecote is, will you explain to them what you use a dovecote for? It's. Um, the house of the pigeons and at that time you used the pigeons to send letters so they were the um the carrier pigeons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, carrier pigeons. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. exactly. And uh, at that time, it was also like a status, of, a symbol of status, as the amount of pigeons was like to the surface of the property. So it was one hectare, and then you were allowed to have one pigeon. So if there were over a thousand. 400 pigeons that means that was almost also 1400 hectares of property wow which we don't huge, own now huge. nowadays of course no. yeah <laughs> now how many hectares do you have on this property right now it's all in all it's five hectares okay five so hectares. that's that's a lot that's a lot, that's so a lot. Yeah. take a look inside and show everybody what the okay. dove coat looks like it's uh, still one of our projects we haven't really done it yet so at the moment it serves as a place to Store things and uh, store things that we are going to throw out. <laughs> so it's just yeah. amazing. Uh, now the first masonry. thing, the masonry. Yeah, but one of the first things I want to point out to you guys is look at those beams yeah. and all the way up. I mean, everything about the inside of this building is so you know so proper. I guess is the best way of saying it. I'm so used to the French way. It's say prop. <laughs> But look at all this. So these are, each one of these little spots is where the pigeons used to nest. And where are we off to next on our tour? I think we go to the, to the, to the garden. To the garden, to yeah. show you the trees. Yes. And the, okay. trees and the space that families have. So I gave a sneak peek last night of the girls playing on your lawn. Okay. And there were a lot of people surprised about the palm tree. Now the, the weather here, and I've, I've mentioned this many times before, the weather in Normandy and Brittany is very temperate. And okay. it's not unusual to find palm trees. Yep, they're very popular in the gardens around here. Yep. So you can see the parking lot right here. We're just 
there on the side and those two windows that were open was my place my bedroom last night it was so fresh and wonderful to stay there Ugh, I slept so well <laughs> I could have slept easily for like 10 hours straight there there's the palm trees and now we're gonna check out this gorgeous tree right here and there's uh, family games and a playground here and the girls have been loving this gorgeous lawn and then we had the gardener here to take care of some things and he told us that this, this tree is about two to three hundred years old So is this secret little trail open to your yes. guests? So we, we don't have any closed areas. No closed areas, okay. This used to be the water place or the place to get water for the people of the little village of Pri. Okay. And uh, they had to ride off by the passage, right of way to come here and get water. Get water and, and wash uh, their, their... Oh, look at this. Wow. It's slippery. belongs to the chateau and actually was also for public use in former times so to say that the people from the village of Brie could come down and get the water wash their laundry in the lavoir yeah it's a lavoir you can you see the little um, wall right there and it collects the water but I think the thing that I mean this the energy of this space is just incredible the clarity of this water <laughs> is amazing but can you see the old archway and the walls this and even i mean i just can't get enough of this do you see that but those bubbles coming up that is literally the water and the bubbles coming up straight out of the ground Ugh, this is just magic so here is another 200 year old tree on the property the canopy is just amazing. <laughs> I love this place so much. <laughs> and this is really one of my favorite trees here on the property. I, is it? I adore it. It's, um, it's a beautiful tree. And uh, especially in springtime when, when the leaves are fresh. Ba baby brand new, oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so, so wonderful. How funny. I know, they are funny. So this is a trail that just uh, goes around the property and I'm hearing nothing but bird songs and doves. It's so calm and perfect here. I think I think I would have a hard time leaving <laughs> ever. <laughs> I already am. <laughs> Can you hear that? There's ferns and the undergrowth. So 
this gorgeous pasture. Look at the rolling hills. I mean, it is just, and the, <laughs> doesn't that look like a picture? Just a painting with the clouds. And the property is just, it just keeps going and going and going. And we just came out of the trail that we were on right here. So you can come up and see this. And now we're gonna continue on and kind of make a circle back towards the property. I just think it's so fun to have the girls on a walk like this. And so generous of the two of you to have a dog friendly property and the opportunity for them to experience this and stay in such a beautiful place. So right here, you can see the arch that we just came through and we just cut through this pasture. And here we are back at the back side of the property. Isn't that just a lovely walk? Can you imagine having breakfast here and then going for a walk <laughs> through the to visit the well and then go through the woods and start your day off like that? It's so special. Well, to get the kids from playing to go back into the house to get the meal. Are you kidding? When the meal was ready, they were ringing the bell. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what we're talking about. I just asked what the purpose of that bell is all the way up on the tower. I mean, it's up pretty high. <laughs> I have to show you again. And there's no filter. This is crazy. The colors, the blue, the greens, the, the palms. Again, how do you even possibly even leave this property? It is so magical and perfect. <laughs> the girls are so happy. <laughs> I really want to sh share that with you. That's the oldest part of the property, from what I understand. Okay. Got a nice little entryway here. And I love walking into this. We just immediately met with so much character. And there's even some information about in Barkman in Normandy. And then the tapestries. You go in here. And one of the things I love, you can always tell, look at how um, the stone dips down from just years of years. And the stained glass here just kills me. century and I was lucky enough to be able to book this it's like an apartment you step down into this and the first thing that you have is a bathroom I absolutely love everything about this place the way that it smells is so authentic and French like uh, it's bringing back so many memories of all the places that I've been to that have history in France it's a smell that you just cannot replace, and it's just this combination of old stone and years and years of cozy fires being built. And this chateau is just fantastic. You come down here, and again, it's not been overly renovated. I love all of the authenticity that you see here, the details. It feels like you're staying in a home. Here's the first bedroom. 
sweet little double bed. Look at the quilts, it's so cozy and the gorgeous batting on the back of the double bed here. The beautiful wallpaper. And this overlooks the parking lot that we came in on and the Pigeon Air house. Some lovely natural light that filters through. And then you come through here and you have two options, to the right or to the left. But there's even more, <laughs> a whole entire salon to sit in and enjoy. The beautiful mirror over the marble fireplace. Look at that. the perfect salon and then you step down here into the master bedroom this is a big bed for French standards and look at the color the color of the walls and the treatment on the molding makes this room just so comfortable and cheery you've got beautiful blue curtains and the windows overlook this garden again with the details all the way down to Coco Chanel <laughs> this is great because you know if you even have uh, pets with you small children this is like an apartment and the owners have graciously shared some local rosé cider and some treats. The internet is strong here, which is great if you need to work. And look, you have a whole entire kitchen, not just a table, not just a workspace, but you have a refrigerator, sink, and gas stove and oven with a fan. And this overlooks the back of the property that has another terrace. I just think that this entire, it's an apartment <laughs> and it's big, is just fantastic. It's so well equipped. You've got everything you can need. If you wanted to use this as a home base. They said a family was staying in here for uh, a week so they could explore Normandy from this chateau. Thank you.